achievement overview. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my achievement overview for Naruto Storm Generations. Uh, overall, it took me 46 hours, and uh, I give thanks to Hiryu MK from the PlayStation Trophy Forum and uh, Elite Shadow Man from the Xbox 360 Achievements Forum. Both of them had guides out that assisted me in getting my full thousand, as they've helped many others. So thanks goes to them, I'll link their guides in the description, and with that said, let's get it started. Alright, so step one of Naruto Storm Generations is to beat the story mode. Story mode consists of 11 different stories instead of one straight storyline. Um, so basically you'll play through 11 different characters, stories, like, they'll, offer, they'll, they'll basically give you different points of view throughout the story, and so on. Um, overall that took me probably 3 or 4 hours to beat. Uh, like I said, 11 characters. Each each of their stories are usually two to six fights long, I believe. None of them are really long. It's just there's 11 of them, so it takes a while. Um, that's definitely the easiest part of the game, though. Very straightforward, very enjoyable. Although they did get rid of boss rights from Storm 2, and eh, that's kind of a personal thing I have against it, but. With that said, step one is complete. You've completed the story mode. It's time to move on to tournament mode. Tournament mode, I believe, is I think six or seven different tournaments long, maybe more. I'm probably probably skipping a few, but it's basically a bunch of tournaments that are differently themed. So like, you'll have the the Genin tournament where you fight only the Genins. You'll have the Chunin where you fight only the Chunin tournaments. You'll have the um the the Jonin where you fight the Jonin ranks. And so on. It basically just scales in difficulty as you go along, but overall it's pretty easy too. Um, this is also where you start playing as every character in the game. When you beat it, story mode. When you beat it, what the fuck? Um, when you finish story mode, you actually unlocked every character. So what happens now is you actually you you start working for the achievement where you play as every character. With that said, you basically, what I did is I worked my way from left to right, left to right, left to right, as I worked my way down the, the roster of characters. Certain characters like Naruto and uh, Sasuke, Gara, they have alternate costumes with alternate jutsus, so you make sure you use those two. By the way, you should be using the ultimate jutsu, like successfully landing it on the enemy, because that will actually give you another achievement for seeing 80% of the ultimate jutsus. Make sure you use it at least once with that character, which you have definitely you won't have a problem with even in the end of the game when you actually have to start replaying stuff. There, there's no way you're gonna miss that achievement, but just remember that if you do take it out early on, it's gonna help you a lot more in the long run. Um, so once you've completed the tournament, comes the time length part that's gonna make your balls fall off and you're gonna get pissed. Um, by now you've probably put like 10 hours into the game, you have probably 600 gamer score or so, and finally you're starting up survival mode. Uh, survival mode is five different modes essentially that start going up in difficulty as you play them. Uh, they are pretty easy, the first two survival modes I blew through with no problem. Probably took me a few hours each, because there is like I think 10 to 20 different divisions inside of the survival mode and basically what survival mode is is you fight a ninja you go to another ninja you go to another ninja and depending on how good you did your health restores so you gotta try to do better and faster um but yeah one you basically have four main survival modes and the last one is just a infinite rounded survival mode where you just keep killing 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 there is no limit whereas the other ones end at like 10, 10 ninjas um, but, like I said, this this survival mode is also like tournament mode. You're, you're using all of the characters you haven't used yet, making sure you've used them, and you've used their ultimate jutsu. You shouldn't have a problem with this. Um, if you do have a problem, like, if you start having trouble with it, there is a, I guess you could say it's an exploit. Basically what you do is you go to versus mode against the CPU, you set the difficulty to very easy and then you put the handicap all the way up so you basically deal a lot more damage and they don't deal much to you once you win a quick versus mode you uh, at the at the end of the match it'll say back to main menu or back to versus menu I believe and or 
yeah, I think it's versus menu or quick play menu or something like that. Free fight menu. Uh, once you go back to the menu where you're able to pick survival tournament and versus, you go back to survival and then you play from there. It'll actually keep the uh, the CPU's like intelligence down and your damage up, so you'll do a lot better in survival mode, which is good. Because seriously, some of those fights later on, they will make your nuts fall off. And you will get pretty pissed. When you take out like 10 ninjas, you get to the very last ninja and he kicks your ass. Um, with that said though, once, you, you, once you've completed story, tournament, and survival, you'll most likely have every character played, every ultimate jutsu you needed to get the 80% with. Um, and then this comes the time consuming part. Uh, basically, you need to get 80% of the titles, 80% of the um, ninja cards, and then a bunch of other collectibles which I got along the way, so I don't have to worry about those at this point. Basically, in order to get all the ninja cards, you have to do a bunch of requirements. Um, I'm just going to post the guide because it, it is a very time consuming process. It took me probably anywhere to, from 5 to 10 hours. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is, by the end of my survival tournament story mode, I had 70% of the titles, 70% of the uh, ninja cards, so I had to bump myself up to 80%, and there's a lot of debatable ways as how you go about this. Um, the way that I did it was by utilizing each of the ninja teams, so like, when you use Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke, you make Team 7 combo. Certain team combinations give you a ninja card, and that's what you're trying to go for. Um, like I said, I'll post the guides. I hope it helps you guys. Just stick with it. Remember, Google is your best friend if you need help. There are dozens of forums that will help you.